Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you this day through this maid servant, my child upon the earth, my willing vessel, one who pours forth my golden oil, my glory, so that my children on the earth can know me well, can hear my voice can walk in a deeper relationship with their God. Come into my joy this day, my children, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Be filled with joy, for there is nothing to fear. There is no reason for you to be anxious. If you put your whole trust in me, I will take care of all of your needs according to my riches in glory through Christ Jesus your Lord. Come to me this day, my children, pray in tongues. Do not be afraid of this spiritual gift. Ask me for the interpretation and I will give it to you, my children. I will open your ears to hear my heavenly language, my child, because I want you to know and understand all that you are speaking on this day. If you have never spoken in the Spirit, prayed in the Spirit, pray now, my child. Open your mouth to speak. Release my words. The heavenly language. For these are my words. Spirit unto spirit pouring forth through you. My words will go forth and they will not return void. Pray in tongues, my children. Lord will edify you, strengthen you. Ori, I am with you this day, my children. Reach out your hand and place it in mine. Pulohriyana kashia, and I will come. I will come and rest upon you. Pulohriyana kashikitikia halarabi, I will come and fill you with my Holy Spirit. I will take you deeper into my heavenly realms. I will reveal unto you mysteries, the mysteries of God. If you need healing this day, my child, come to me. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. I wish to heal you this day, my child. Ale, I want you to walk in divine order, divine health, divine grace, divine love. I have a specific purpose for you on the earth, my child. Do you know what it is? Have you ever asked? Do you want to know your purpose? You must be born again. You must be filled with my Holy Spirit. You must be able to connect with me, have a relationship with me, so that I can reveal your purpose. Why you were created, why I placed you on the earth at such a time as this. Lord of Atara, every human has a purpose. Lady on the so many do not find it. Lord of Atara, Sikia Hashikiti, pursuing wealth, fame, glory for themselves. My purpose will always involve love, love for others, love for the earth, 
love for humanity, love for creation, love for something greater than yourself. Lord Abotarabai will open your eyes to see further than just to yourself. So many of you, my children, are self-focused. You are the most important thing in your life. I wish to change this so that others become more important in your life. You have a gift which I want you to share with others, my child. I have blessed you. With gifts and talents, with desires in your heart, with wisdom and knowledge and intelligence so that you can be a blessing to others, to the world, to leave the world different than when you arrived, to change hearts, renew hearts, to awaken hearts to my love and glory. My child, have you brought anyone into the kingdom? Have you told anyone the truth about Jesus Christ, my Holy Son? Have you ever spoken of the love you have for me? Have you ever told anyone what I have done for you? How I have changed your life for the better. How your mind has been renewed and transformed. How you have been redeemed, forgiven, sanctified and set free purified by the blood of the Lamb, the holy and sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. Have you ever told anyone about the day of your salvation? Have you ever shared my mysteries with the world? Or do you hide your faith away, ashamed of me? ashamed of my son. Do you only share your Christianity with other believers? Or do you speak openly with your friends and family and neighbours and work colleagues? My child, be filled full to overflowing and do not hold back. Share the good news with those who are perishing, those who are walking in darkness, those who are filled with anxiety and fear and trepidation about death. My child, death haunts the hearts of so many on the earth. Death is terrifying. Lord, you do not want to leave, so you cling to this earth, you cling to life. But there is eternal life, my children, there is eternal life in my keeping, and when you die, your spirit is eternal, it does not die, only your physical flesh. Karabesi dies, my child. Your spirit is eternal, and it returns to me. And one day, all that you have done on the earth will be judged accordingly. Accordingly, my child, according to what you have done. Whether you believed in my son, whether you bowed your knee, whether you asked to be changed and renewed and forgiven, whether you forgave others, whether you were set free, whether you read my holy Bible and helped the world in some way whether you fulfilled your purpose or you walk in selfish ambition, in vanity and pride. Lord, where you were obedient to my words, obedient to my commands for your life, or did you do your own thing, thinking you knew better? Lord, learn today, my children, to be obedient. If I give you a word, a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, it is for your benefit, my child. It is for your best interest. I do not wish to harm you. I wish you to have the best life possible. And so I lead and guide you through my Holy Bible, through my Holy Spirit, through words of knowledge and wisdom and prophetic revelation. 
Lord, will be a nice kriya and speak to you through others, through those who hear my voice, through words such as these. You can choose to listen, my child, or you can choose to walk away. Lord, will be a nice as you walk into the world. Try to do life on your own. But this will lead to depression and anxiety and fear because your spirit longs to be united with me, one with me. Therefore, you must be born again, born of the Holy Spirit. Or you will live your whole life with your eyes closed, with a veil across your eyes so that you cannot see me or hear me or know me. The best part of life is walking with your God night and day, praying to me, worshipping, singing songs of praise and glory and worship. The Lord of Yamahashi Kiti, give your life to me this day, my child, and be obedient. Whatever I have commanded you in days gone by, I wish you to start. Start, my child, this day. At the start of this brand new year, Make a commitment to be obedient to all I have commanded you in days gone by. Let this be the first year that you do everything that I have asked. This year is the year for you to be obedient. The year of obedience unto God. Walk in my will this day, my children. Do not look back. Be careful, for the devil prowls like a raging lion, a roaring lion to devour you. And he will try to stop you from fulfilling your purpose, my plans for your life. He will do everything he can to convince you not to be obedient at this time. But if you are obedient, then I will look after you. The fruits of heaven will pour upon your life. Divine blessing will follow you all of your days because you are walking in my will and I will take care of all of your needs. I will help you. I will fill you with my Holy Spirit, my presence. I will help you, my child. Come to me this day. I praise my holy name. For I am your God, your Father, your Creator. I gave unto you my Holy Son, the sacrificial Lamb. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He will forgive you of your sins. He will have mercy on your soul and he will walk with you in paradise. For eternity, my child, life without end, a place where there is no weeping, no sickness, no despair, no depression or anxiety or fear, no suicidal thoughts, no death. Oh, my child, heaven is only a heartbeat away for you all. You all must leave the earth soon. In the blink of an eye, you will be with me. And it will be too late, my child, if you do not confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in your lifetime. It will be too late on the other side and you will be judged for your sin. His death will not cover your sin if you die unrepentant, not knowing your Saviour, not confessing that He is your Lord. You will be judged for every single sin. But if you give your life to him, every sin is washed away by his blood, his death. The agony of his death paid it all for you, my children. He was nailed to a cross. His blood poured out for every generation, every child. He was the sacrificial lamb. My son. My beautiful son your Lord and King. I see myself standing before the Father in heaven. I see oil, cups of oil, pouring through a menorah, being released. 
Allah about to be all over the earth. Allah ra oil is pouring so much oil. La kapotor ba si the golden oil of God is pouring. La robotor nikia the knowledge of Kriya the glory of God is being released across the earth at this time. Receive the oil. The oil of his love, his words, his presence, his Holy Spirit, his truth. Receive his oil this day. Breathe him in. I feel like I'm drinking the oil in heaven. I'm learning I have a cup and I'm putting it into the oil and I'm drinking the oil. And it is nourishing for my soul, the holy oil of heaven. I see people on the earth holding up cups and drinking your oil. Oil carriers across the earth, those who are called to pour forth your oil to the nations. To every nation, tribe and tongue, your words, your spirit, revelation, prophecy, interpretation of tongues, healing. Miracles are being released at this time. Oh, thank you for your words of knowledge. Thank you for your words of wisdom, Father. Thank you for Yahashi flooding our earth with the golden oil. I see people bathing in the oil. They are so filled with your glory. All they desire is to be with you, to stand with you in paradise. Allah Papashi Ahana Makate Hiyahashi, I'm pouring forth my spirit on this day, my child. I'm pouring forth my glory. Lopori and Maharahashi, it will be hard for you to stand up in my glory. You will spend many hours on your face in worship. And this is okay, my child, for this is where I will speak with you one on one. This is where union with God is possible. When you separate to me and give your whole heart and soul to me and bow before me in worship, we can become one union with God. Take away all thoughts. They are that are holding me back from you, all distractions. Forgive me for my sins and have mercy on my soul. I want to be pure before you, holy and righteous. I want to lay before you in worship night and day, never standing. Very helpful it is here where I have peace and contentment and joy, eternal joy. Lord of Atarabahi and Nahashi, my child, come to me frequently. Be obedient. This year, be obedient to all I have commanded you. And you will have the most amazing year, my child. Record it in a diary. Record all that is happening in your world at this time. Divine order and favour. Divine love and grace. I will help you to be obedient, my child. Drink deeply from my glory, the glory realm of heaven. I'm pouring forth this glory now for my children on the earth. Because I love you, my children, I want for you to be happy, filled with joy. I want you to know my peace. Remain diligent in the days to come, my children. This is your Father in Heaven speaking with you this day. I love you eternally, now and forever. Amen.